I'm pleased to appear before you this afternoon on this critically important topic of Russian interference in our last presidential election and the related topics that this subcommittee is investigating. For 27 years, I was honored to represent the people of the United States with the Department of Justice. I began as an assistant United States attorney in Atlanta in the fall of 1989. And like all prosecutors, I investigated and tried cases and worked hard to try to ensure the safety of our communities and that those who violated our laws were held accountable. Over time, through five Republican and Democratic administrations, I assumed greater leadership positions within the department. In the U.S. Attorney's Office in Atlanta, I served as Chief of the Fraud and Public Corruption Section, as First Assistant United States Attorney, and then was appointed United States Attorney. And then I had the privilege of serving as Deputy Attorney General for a little over two years. And finally, the current administration asked me to stay on as Acting Attorney General. Throughout my time at the department, I was incredibly fortunate to be able to work with the talented, career men and women at the Department of Justice who followed the facts and applied the law with tremendous care and dedication and who are in fact the backbone of the Department of Justice. And in every step, in every position, from AUSA to Acting Attorney General, I always tried to carry out my responsibility to seek justice in a way that would engender the trust and the confidence of the people whom I served. I want to thank this subcommittee for conducting an impartial and thorough investigation of this vitally important topic. The efforts by a foreign adversary to interfere and undermine our democratic processes and, and those of our allies pose a serious threat to all Americans. This hearing and others this subcommittee has conducted and will be conducting in the future are an important bipartisan step in understanding the threat and the best ways to confront it going forward. As the intelligence community assessed in its January of 2017 report, Russia will continue to develop capabilities to use against the United States, and we need to be ready to meet those threats. I sincerely appreciate the opportunity to take part in today's discussion. Now, I want to note that in my answers today, I intend to be as fulsome and as comprehens comprehensive as possible while respecting my legal and ethical boundaries. As the subcommittee understands, many of the topics of interest today concern classified information that I cannot address in this public setting. My duty to protect classified information applies just as much as a former official as it did when I led the department. In addition, I'm obviously no longer with the Department of Justice, and I am not authorized to generally discuss deliberations within DOJ or more broadly within the executive branch, particularly on matters that may be the subject of ongoing investigations. I take those obligations very seriously, and I appreciate the subcommittee's shared interest in protecting classified information and preserving the integrity of any investigations that the Department of Justice may now be conducting. I look forward to answering your questions. Thank you.